Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this Realme X. And as you can see, this one has a pop-up camera and an in-display fingerprint scanner. In fact, uh, this one is very similar to the Realme 3 Pro. In fact, has the same processor, the Snapdragon 710. But this is a lot more premium, you could say. And as you can see, guys, nothing is printed here because this is a review on it. So I don't know the exact pricing, uh, but I'll have the details about the pricing in the description area. So let's open up the box and uh, here it says welcome to the realme family looks like a uh, yeah a Case is provided and this uh, quality of the case is actually pretty good uh, We also have a sim ejector tool as you can see. It's also wrapped in plastic as you can see so this is the case that we have let me keep this to the side and this is the device itself and this is having a 6.53 inch uh, screen and as you can see the in display fingerprint scanner is there and this is that white uh, color it has a slight gradient also as you can see a slight finish it's not pure white it's pure white at the bottom but has that gradient and a dual uh, ray tracing camera and uh, the handset actually feels uh, pretty light though it's having a 6.53 inch screen anyways let's see what else do we get in the box so we have a vook uh, charger this is actually a 20 watt uh, vook uh, charger type c cable yes it is usb type c so that's what we get in the box so let me do one thing let me keep this to the side and let's look at the handset itself so here is the handset itself and uh, at the back also it feels actually pretty uh, premium and it's protected by gorilla glass 5 uh, and uh, if we go at the top we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone and uh, we have that uh, pop-up camera uh, that's why we have this over here and uh, we have the sim injector to uh, sim tray over here on this side well, that's actually a little bit different and uh, if you open it's uh, dual sim nano guys uh, but the good thing is that the storage uh, variants that we are getting in india are 128 gigabytes even for the base 6 gb ram variant and even the 8 gigabyte ram variant will also have 128 gigabytes we have the power on off button and bottom went for the speaker type c port main microphone Fortunately, it's still 3.5 mm headphone jack and here we have the volume rocker. So handset actually feels pretty sleek. Let's just power it on and uh, by the time it actually boots up and I set it up, let me give you a configuration overview. This Realme X is having a 6.53 inch full HD plus AMOLED uh, screen. It's a full view screen. It's protected by Gorilla Glass 5. It's powered by the Snapdragon 710 octa-core uh, chipset. It comes in six or eight gigabytes of RAM and storage for India will be 128 gigabytes of storage. Moving to the camera, it has a dual ray facing camera. The main camera is a 48 megapixel with f1.7 and the second camera is a five megapixel for depth. Moving to the front facing camera, it's a pop-up camera it's a 16 megapixel pop-up camera and it comes with 3765 uh, milliamp hour battery with a 20 watt uh, vook fast charger so guys i've just finished uh, setting up this device and it runs over color os x and there are some apps that are pre-installed so let's see if we can remove it yes uh, we can actually remove it no uh, i didn't remove from there sorry uh, yeah you can uninstall it so you can do that but let's see how much storage uh, do we get out of the box and other things and we have the quick toggles it's color os 6 underneath the uh, guys and if we go towards the settings and uh, if we go to about the phone here it is and uh, as you can see color was version 6 and uh, this is the 8 gb ram variant and uh, out of that 128 gigabytes about 104 gigabytes of uh, space will be available in india even the 6 uh, gb ram variant will get 128 gigabytes of uh, storage and as you can see security patch it says june itself i'll uh, check and typical uh, color os uh, that you get and uh, this one uh, if you notice we, we don't have any physical fingerprint scanner because this one is having in display fingerprint scanner uh, here as you can see and if you tap here uh, looks like it's actually pretty fast guys and uh, yes so the in display fingerprint scanner is actually really fast on this one and uh, you can also enroll the face and locking if you want but the in display fingerprint scanner as you saw was very responsive and it's running on that snapdragon 710 soc and the performance should also be good no issues with that and uh, 
Anyways, let's also look at the camera because uh, the main camera is a 48 megapixel and that secondary is for them. Whereas the front facing camera is uh, that pop up camera. Hence, uh, you have that full view display. But let's just uh, switch this on and I'll accept the terms of service. Let's bring some objects nearby. And it has that 1x and 2x zoom. So it's using that software for 1x and 2x as you can see and the shutter speed is fast we also have the portrait mode does it work yes as you saw the background blur was there and let's now look at the front facing camera and as you can see it rises and it has that beauty mode that is enabled i generally don't like it so i'm just going to put it on natural like this and it auto detects and has even hdr uh, so let me do one thing guys, let me actually show you the sample shots. But before that, here is a word from the sponsor of this video, that is Mivi.n. This is Mivi Octave Bluetooth speaker. It is very loud and is perfect for your house parties. It gives a 16 watt output and has deep bass. It produces 360 degrees sound. Rome is an all-terrain speaker with a 5 watt output and is completely waterproof. It is very compact but has powerful sound. Both speakers have great battery life and have built-in mics to answer calls. Log on to Mivi.in and use the coupon code GeekyRanji to get special discount. See the link in the description below. So these samples were taken with the rear facing camera of this Realme X and as you can see it produces good pictures and punchy pictures because of that chroma boost but even for close up macro shots as you can see it is actually doing a pretty good uh, job. Now moving to semi indoor conditions here also it did actually a pretty decent job and these were taken in completely artificial lighting and here are uh, my samples uh, just wanted to gauge how is the skin tones uh, with this one and these were taken in indoor lighting conditions. I felt in indoor lighting conditions slightly on the softer side but Hopefully it can be improved with updates. Now these were taken with the front facing camera and outdoor conditions it produced very sharp uh, pictures. But when we move to indoor lighting conditions I noticed that the contrast is a little bit weird with the front facing camera. So guys that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this Realme X. So what do you guys think about this uh, Realme X? Do let me know in the comment section below. Anyways guys that's it for now. Thanks for watching and if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.